It was a beautiful morning. We had completed our first sector of the day, and it was time to fly back. With the passengers boarding, it was time to start engine number two in hotel mode to get the air conditioning running. Clear right, starter on, ouch. What now? Hello aviators, my name is Magna Nordal, I'm an ATA captain and instructor. Some time ago we experienced a problem when we were going to start one of the engines. The engine starter didn't run and all we got was a fault light in the starter button. The procedure is to move the start selector back to off and start aboard. So what now? The first thing is to troubleshoot. We were connected to a GPU and it was delivering power as it should. Checked. The circuit breakers was not tripped. Checked. If we had been on our maintenance base, we would have called for a mechanic. But we had no maintenance personnel at this airport. So we started to figure out the options. Almost everything in an ATR is controlled by electric power. And in most cases, a failed system will recover when you reset the aircraft. It's just like you reset your phone. Therefore, we disconnected the GPU and switched off the battery switch. After 10 seconds, we put the power back on. Then it will take a few minutes for the system to come back online. And finally, we were ready to start the engine again. No. For those of you who are not familiar with the ATR, I will explain how the engine starter works. It is a combined electrical starter and generator connected with a shaft to the high pressure spool of the gas turbine. That's the heart of the engine. When you press the starter button, it acts as a starter. When the rotation speed of the high pressure spool reaches 45%, that is called NH, the starter disconnects, and the engine completes the start sequence under its own power. When NH reaches 61.5%, the combined starter and generator begins to act as a generator. The starter generator is controlled by a GCU, Generator Control Unit. If it senses wrong voltage, overload or other problems, it will inhibit use of the starter and the generator but the GCU can also fail. So we made a call to the engineering department. After explaining the situation, the engineer decided to send a mechanic with a replacement part. But we didn't know which part was broken. It could be the starter generator or the GCU. So could we do him a favor? Sure. Okay, open the side panel of the electric rack behind the first officer. We open it and it reveals many black boxes, real black boxes. One of them is the GCU for the treble engine. The engineer helped us to find the right one. Here it is. Then the engineer asked us whether there was a white marker inside one of the two indicators on the top. Yes, we saw a white marker in the indicator labeled GEN for generator. The other indicator marked GCU was dark. That meant the starter generator was faulty and must be replaced. A mechanic was sent with a new starter generator. And after a few hours, we were ready to depart again. Okay, that's all for this time. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and happy learning.